How do I keep consistent with my 5 a.m. morning gym routine? Maybe it's not a how question, it's why. I'm tired of the thought that I have to feel miserable in winter just because it's dark and cold. I know warmer days are great, but hey, there's a merit in winter months too. The pace of the world seems slower and I can take my time to focus on myself and do anything to stop feeling soggy and wet, like the UK weather. My morning routine before my 9 to 5 workday is my alternative to having a therapy. It's something that can be dreading to do but always work out feeling like a new person. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one. I've created a morning gym routine that works and I'm going to walk you through on today's vlog on how I keep consistent and set myself up for success every morning. If you haven't met before, I'm Prang and I'm so grateful that you're joining me today. A good start to the day is all about preparation the evening before. I have a checklist of what I must do before heading to bed, laying out my gym and cycling outfit, pack my bag with gym essentials and prep a pre-workout snack so that I can get ready straight away the next morning. I keep things simple, minimal, low effort and quiet. My pre-workout snack is often a slice of toast or crisp bread with nut butter and jam. It's crucial to eat fast absorbed carbohydrates and fat for energy so I survive a heavy lifting workout and have a good session. And because I cycle to the gym without any food, I wouldn't make it back home. Trust me, it is a game changer, but I'm not having anything bigger either or I'll be too full for a workout. I leave the flat to arrive at the gym around 6am when it's open. It's still dark, cold and sometimes raining. Of all days, it had to be the day that I filmed this vlog that the gym staff was late and we all stuck outside. Anyway, today was my lower body day. Cycling is such a great way to get my heart rate up, but before any session, dynamic stretch and power warm up are important to warm those muscles, especially my hip flexors, hamstrings and knees as they would work so hard. We don't want any injuries ladies, so don't skip your warm up. My program has between 5 to 6 movements for each body part and some come in supersets for extra intensity. Low bar squats was my main movement today which was what I did first so I could spend more of my energy into it. Before lifting, I warmed up with lighter weights for 1 to 2 sets to ease my body into the movement and ready for a much heavier weight. Then I started my first working set. Performing with progressive overload is key to build muscle, but I don't always add heavier weights each session. Here I was working on going in bigger depth with good form each session, and the goal is to go all the way down while lifting those heavy weights. Although glutes are my main focus, I also work on other parts of my lower body such as quads and hamstrings to make sure that they are equally strong and balanced out which help me build my glutes better. The gym isn't so busy at this time of the day, but I always accompany by the same group of gym folks we became acquainted, nodding to each other, say hi or have small chats. I'm never alone in this space and somehow it brings me a sense of belonging. We are a group of people who share similar values and goals which motivates me to keep going, knowing that I'm not the crazy one. Not gonna lie, I don't love every second of it here, but more often than not, being a part of this community brings me physical and mental benefits. Walking 10,000 steps daily is another essential part of my fitness regime. Daily movement is so key to maintaining good health. Let me tell you a secret to hit step goals especially during wet and cold months. I try to get the most out of the morning so it won't feel impossible later in the day when work and life pick up. Walking on a treadmill even for 5 minutes after my training session already helped me get ahead of the game. It makes the rest of it so much more achievable if splitting throughout the day when I need a break from laptop screens. We don't have to glamorize it as a hot girl walk even though, you know, I like to think that I'm one of the hot girls even if my sweaty body, greasy hair and old crusty t-shirt don't give away any hot girl vibe. Honestly, I see great benefits from walking. And there is something special about wandering around, breathing crisp morning air, 
gently waking my mind as the sun rises. That's why I keep going. But don't let me tell you what's so good about it. That's what this winter arc is all about: curating a routine that works and stick to it until it hits you. It's no epiphany. It's just discovery from doing it. I don't have an extensive supplement list. I take vitamin D because we all suffer from a life with no sunshine, don't we? And iron supplement, as I happen to be deficient as well. Creatine is my new addition. It doesn't help building muscle, but boosts my performance at the gym, from which I progress better. But you don't have to. Your progress in the gym and good health will always come from good nutrition, training, and consistency, regardless whether you take those supplements or not. But it's kind of ironic saying this because I'm taking creatine. Who knows? I might come off it soon. I'm just trying it out as well. <sighs> Finally, here comes my most favorite part of the day: breakfast. I've been woken up for basically three to four hours um, with. You know, doing very strenuous、um, activity. So the post workout is very important to kickstart my day and to make sure that I don't feel super tired and you know not be able to focus. Generally, you should feel yourself、um, right after you finish your workout anyway, and to make sure that you know you get the energy back in to replace what you. You know, spend at the gym. So with my with my breakfast or post workout meal has to you know not just only high in protein. That is like my standard anyway. Every meal and snacks have to be in high in protein. But what I prioritize intentionally having higher is carbs. If I don't have enough carbs、um, from my post workout meal, then I will start getting hungry within one to two hours, and you know wouldn't be able to focus at work. Even with porridge bowl,、um, how I made is obviously I add quite a lot of oats. Now it's up to fifty grams, and you know with berries, other fruits like pear, apple, plum, or whatever is in seasons or whatever that I have at hand, and of course with banana for that extra carbs and fiber and also potassium and vitamins that we need、um, for the day. It will usually have the similar components: oats, chia seeds or flax seeds, liquid egg whites as well. If you don't want protein powder, you can use just egg whites to add a little bit more protein. Component into your porridge that I just add both good amount of fats,、um, you know, from nut butter or sometimes just like whole nuts, some cacao nibs or some chocolate. It depends on my mood on the day. This is basically my post workout meal. It is essential that I eat enough so that I can, you know, kickstart my day. Mmm, 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 and it never gets old. Mmm, so good. Normally, on a typical good day, not the day that gym staff decided to come twenty minutes late, I finish all of that, you know, at the gym, you know, come back, get ready for work, had my breakfast, and you know, I still have some time, to, especially Monday, starting to the week, take my time, like sip my coffee, open my laptop, starting to check my emails, and not feel like I have to rush to do everything and you know, eating breakfast while checking my email. That's not. It's not really a nice way to start the day, you know. It helps a lot with my mental well-being. As in, I feel like I've done something incredible already, something that is difficult, and therefore, you know, whatever comes my way at work, it wouldn't be so much of a big deal anymore because I get that sense of achievement every day from doing this, and I'm very proud of myself. Proudness is something that. Keep me going, and I would encourage you to find that sense of, you know, proudness in, you know, in small things in your day, and feeling a bit more positive about, you know, yourself. And this is why I think the concept of winter arc makes a lot of sense, you know, because it takes time for those habits to stick. You know, I'm able to do this in winter to stick with my five a.m. five a.m. routine because this is something that I plan I've done building up. Since summer, the day started very early. It wasn't so awful to cycle to the gym. This is something that I've adjusted and done for the past two to three months. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do winter arc、um, reset. You should. It's awful. It's horrible. Miserable. And people want to cocoon and you know hibernate. And you just go out there, getting your ass fired up, hitting the gym, eating healthier, and just get ahead. If you can do this, nothing's gonna stop you, and you're gonna start the next year very strong. I don't know about you. 
if you don't start now i don't know when it has to be now and that's pretty much it thank you so much for joining me today getting up very early hacking along with me to the gym you see my elaborated gym routine and my morning routine before i start working at nine we're gonna enter the next year with confidence healthy fit happy starting the new year feeling like you already got it sorted i hope you have a good rest of your day wherever you are and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye come come at me whatever telling myself every time after i come back to the gym feeling pumped physically and mentally